We came to RJA Hacks motivated to code to the PMP. We are frustrated by in-flight entertainment systems that fail entirely to provide passengers with destination-relevant content. What a huge opportunity that airlines all miss, every single one of them. But what about people traveling by other means on the ground? Travelers all need to learn about where they're going. Our customer is the traveling public. Business travelers, tourists, families, people moving to new cities, kids on college break going somewhere new, people who want to be smarter when they get where they're going. Our solution provides users with content that meets their location-specific information needs, and it combines news, social, deep context, and serendipity, unlike what they can get anywhere else. So when you're going to a new place, you would benefit from knowing about maybe road issues, new legislation, maybe some histor historical perspectives like how to escape from Alcatraz if you're coming to, say, San Francisco. Or maybe if you're going to New York, you want to know what happened at the Stonewall Inn about 50 years ago. Or maybe if you're in Berlin, you want to know how can I avoid some large gatherings of people, including David Hasselhoff. <laughs> And now we get to see the app that our developer, Georgie, didn't get to finally see presented. Um, you first put in your location, whether before, hopefully, you're in a car or a plane, or at least before you're in a car, and to truly, to truly know about where you're headed. To, so to know more than just what the hearsay is, it's truly what the people there here are saying. So. <laughs> and so the first thing you'll do as you'll put in your location, and hearsay will do the rest. In fact, when you put in your location, when you put in San Francisco, for instance, it'll search weigh-ins analytics to find what's trending there. So then once you know what's trending in that area, then it pulls content based on those words from PMP's API. Yep, that's right, we did two of them. <laughs> and, um, and then once you know, once you pulled the stories from there, you'll get even more specific tweets about that larger trend. So you have this huge monolith of what people are talking about, you have a story, and then you have larger, smaller tweets that we're excited about. And then once you know about those tweets, you can understand and maybe laugh at them. Some of the, our, some of the usernames are sometimes funny. Uh, hopefully we didn't get any good ones here. Um, <laughs> and so what does this all mean of just putting these through and letting Twitter decide your news experience? That seems like a really dumb idea. But in fact, it becomes a more social experience because the news is reacting to Twitter and Twitter is reacting to the news. So because of this, we get uh, people seeing what, we get people, re we get people listening and reading what people are talking about and it's a deeper news experience because people are talking about this, blah, 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 tweeting away, and then you get a news experience. You get news from the past, from PMP's hopefully wide archive from, to see what has been reported on these stories in the past because every story is a history. And the last thing that it does, that it provides, is that it, uh, it, has, a more, it has a more social experience, but it also has a more interesting experience just visually, as you can see from there. And lastly, before we get too long, uh, we have business ideas of underwriting based on this location and based on even the trends. And so we think that putting those between those tweets could be a really good opportunity to find what people are talking about and what stories are talking about for underwriters. And to kind of thank the developers, we have a video. Yes, I'm trying to steal the mic. Uh, Georgie, who we've been talking about a lot, you haven't seen him. He uh, worked literally all night developing this app and most of the uh, morning and day today. So we wanted to let him speak for himself about uh, what he thought about hearsay. And without further ado, I will just play it. We feel like we did it. It's an awesome app that that if it's if it gets out, you guys should definitely use it. And we enjoyed working on it, and we feel like we made a product that um, it will be relevant to the user, and everybody's gonna enjoy. It. We were so happy to be here, and uh, hope to see you guys again. I gotta go. I'm okay. really go, sorry. Go, go, I gotta go. run. <laughs> Hearsay for people who are going places.